you are tuned to the 24/7 channel of all india radio we now take you over to ladakh as nitish arora dials out to a promising film director stanzin dorje greetings from delhi stanzin uh, welcome to all india radio thank you nitish uh, i'm very happy to be on air how come this profession in lay cinematography in lay must be a very difficult uh, decision how did you choose this profession I didn't choose my profession till 13 years old. I was a shepherd. Uh, I'm taking care of my animals in the mountain, the sheep, goats, and yaks. And then I have like you know no idea what is uh, film making and all these. You know, I used to go to school very late uh, when I was in uh, in my place uh, 4,200 uh, meter high. So I always felt that uh, my classmates are sheep goats and yaks and then my friends are snow leopard wolves eagles and then my class uh, is like a mountain that how i'm grown up uh, when i came back to my village then i got some uh, teachers and they saying sanjin you must come to school so then that time i was almost uh, 13 years old then i start schooling after that uh, i been in les city and then i join uh, segmol student education culture movement of ladakh where so many volunteers are coming from all over the world and then everybody told me that you know oh sanjin you have uh, very good eyes in media but my english is that time very bad so i thought oh i have already two eyes where is my third eyes <laughs> that the, they told me there is uh, the media that how i came in media netish yeah uh, number one very awesome choice for friends you yeah. said snow leopard was your friend <laughs> and eagle yeah. was your friend an open air uh, classroom i guess every child would wish to be but then you need to have your literary education which you later on did so uh, which year it was uh, when you really thought about camera and uh, exploring with camera we don't have much uh, access with the uh, cameras and cinemas and then the another institution it was the radio you know because in the radio so many people are speaking about the camera and then i was just thinking what camera and all these thing that was when i was 13 14 years i heard about that but the actual was uh, in 1994 september when i was uh, in segmol so there i saw the camera you know wow this is the camera this is the media this is how the media unit was when i seen this all equipment it was just uh, like uh, goosebumps in my like body you know so i said wow what is something you know but that was uh, in the beginning you know nothing uh, like special but that uh, that time in 1994 i just uh, uh, introduced with all this uh, new modern technology all the equipment yes so first the snow deserts the the deserts of uh, ladakh were your first classroom the second teacher was radio as you said tell us your association with radio how exciting it was and what role all india radio or radio in general plays in the life of uh, shepherds of ladakh radio you know that is the only like my uh, school you know like my uh, like my family member we used to have only one radio stations in leladar uh, all indian radio stations when we are in in the mountain when we hear some program of, uh, from the uh, air india radio le so always we are waiting that programs you know, every day and then when we living in this uh, 4000 to 5000 meter high the battery is another challenge Mm-hmm. so we have to take your radio as like a baby you know so like you we have to wrap with some cloth and then the, we take your batteries okay how many batteries we have and that was uh, i have like you know childhood memory how i have a good memory about my father and my mother same emotion same laugh same compassion i have with the radio not only me i think like all community in ladakh so especially that is the only source of entertainment and source of uh, institutions what we learn from the like we learn many things are local uh, from our grandparents and our uh, friends but through radio other world is only we are learning from that is the all in a radio lay you know all in a radio others you know but that is the main uh, like you know main thing for us yeah 
stands in now it is my turn to have goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> so i guess uh, radio is still playing the same active role in the life of people out there 1994 was the year when you had your first brush with cameras how old was you at that time uh that was i think i am uh, uh, 19 years old and uh, 19 or i am not exactly remembering all mm-hmm. this uh, fine yeah. fine uh, young man of uh, 19 or 20 suddenly uh, mm-hmm. l- looking at the cameras and uh, trying to explore and trying trying to know there is a new dimension to life apart from only the audio you said that yes in the year of uh, 1994 you were having a first brush with camera mm-hmm. but making it a profession is altogether a different how was that journey that transition from having the first opportunity to have a hand at the camera and then becoming a professional filmmaker yourself ji netesha when the, i was uh, in 1994 in this uh, non government organization uh, which is called segmol student education culture movement of ladakh at that time there was education reform in ladakh so how education uh, like you know or uh, system working which is suitable or not whatever there was a big discussions about education and then our director is our team we have to reach to each remote places when we go to each uh, remote places it was quite challenging and difficult because you know ladakh you've been in ladakh many times and you are so work here so to reach in this uh, even small villages sometimes it take uh, one day two days by walking so then like our team decided that you know we can't afford to uh, every time we bring our expert to these villages and then we thought uh, why we not make a small film audiovisuals you know so then it was like 1996 what how i began my uh, career there so we said that uh, with our director uh, in segmol we say oh we will make a uh, movies in ladakhi language and then we go to the village and then what did happen it was very interesting and i think like you know when we go to the village first time we say okay today we have a education talk people must come to for the gathering and we see okay many people are coming after next time we go again only 50% coming and then we make a very simple equipment we say okay we'll make a, some string and then we show in this village or oh, today we are uh, screening movie in ladakhi language and then uh, you will see fast like you know all this thing and in like when i saw that people enthusiastic you know that same village i saw like 80 years old person till like 3 years old children everybody was coming to watch the movie so i <laughs> <That's> said, wow <laughs> this is the real tool to not only only the entertain you know how we can change the society you know so that is what that i felt you know it is the one of the most important tool mm-hmm. to use in the society to educate the people i do video uh, medium so then i thought in you know, it must go in this film making and then uh, after that in this uh, organization my guru rahul anade from mumbai he came used to came to this campus to make some small movie and then he also told me you must go in this sanjin and then last last storm from sweden and then like many volunteers came and then everybody say you have good eyes and you must do and then i start making some uh, uh, small feature film that how i becoming a, a filmmaker nadesha it's very exciting but it is tough life also you brought cinema along with yes some of your own uh, seniors you brought this cinema to ladakh making films in uh, ladakhi language so what were the choice of stories and tell me about your first movie what was the story of that movie uh, what was the choice of the subject till now i got opportunity to make uh, more than um, uh, i think like 2022 documentary film the first movie it was uh, living with change which i made for the wwf worldwide fund because as in the beginning we had discussed because snow leopard is my friend mm-hmm. so that uh, the to shoot the snow leopard is for me is very easy because i used to with them in the past so then mm. how they are going in the mountain how they live and all this so this is uh, my first movie that how we are not excited we see only the snow leopards you know 
how do we live with the snow leopard and then we this is not only for the human players you know this is all under the blue sky whoever living here we all live together those sort of interesting contents are there that what i wanted to uh, wanted to write in the movie and see in the movie uh, in asia so your first uh, hero was your friend of childhood the snow leopard <laughs> that was your topic after this living the change movie so by french people you know because lots of uh, uh, tourists in the summer come to ladakh and then i show that movie and they saying it's incredible movie because you your story is very original you know and why you not come to france you know because people like you we have a like plenty of job and that is what we looking for which is original stories you know so then i said no no i don't have money i don't want to go in france and then i met uh, the one professor uh, kishan modelate who is working since more than 30 years to ladakh and she said this year you must come with me sanjin because uh, in france uh, society we would like to see how you make the movie this is more original and the themes and the dark and all these movies a european uh, audience might uh, appreciate you which, which year was that uh, that was uh, that is uh, 2011 2011 now you yeah. became the subject of uh, study actually because french people wanted to know the nuances of uh, making f- uh, films in the dark by you so that must be quite encouraging in fact exactly and it is it was yeah, this movie becoming a quite popular in france and they keep calling me now you must come to france and you know like your movies like by many people then we got uh, awarded and like this this how uh, start my journey in europe see there was no certificate of the west on you i still remember let us cut it to 2017 when i watched your movie screened in uh, shri fort auditorium here in delhi 2017 shepherdess of the glaciers and you know i still remember each and every every camera frame every track of the camera that you took it was marvelous and this movie is uh, it has just set into my system it cannot go out now but unfortunately yes uh, cinema of your kind uh, do not find uh, cinema halls or uh, theaters where you can show this in fact my next question was about this only because anybody who is listening to this interview right now and is interested in watching your cinema how can he is there a, a proper website or are your documentaries available on youtube how can people watch it obviously most of the us stuff is not screened in regular cinema halls see you know even like for me i'm uh, what i should say to you now you know because these movies are uh, like even you say like jungwa the broken balance and then yeah which is give me break up this uh, shepherdess of the glacier in the past this working title is little different you know it was the shepherdess in the radio you know so this movie is becoming quite very popular in the west europe even in I right now I I don't know like uh, what uh, because in Europe it comes on Arten ZDF and all these channels regularly in India like that the uh, problems you know or for independent uh, filmmakers we don't have a good uh, channels like maybe I hope that Doordarshan will uh, screen all this sort of movie also but otherwise I right now uh, my like capacity is very limited you know because in the YouTube I have many followers but I can't show in this sort of movie because it has uh, when you see this sort of movie in in the theater when you see in the good uh, auditorium you know then you will feel it you know because this one movie 75 uh, uh, minute movie it took me three years completely three years I becoming again shepherd you know <laughs> so that how this sort of only not visual you know when you uh, feel about the sound you know how the sound we capture you know so all togetherly uh, that is absolutely everybody's see. loss because uh, when yeah. uh, you cannot screen those movies anywhere then uh, how would audience know about it i'm really speechless but now that uh, world is coming to you and uh, if i'm not wrong uh, during covid times also many colleges uh, in delhi and delhi university they had a webinar uh, kind of a thing uh, how was that experience and uh, how are uh, students of uh, cinema taking to you and your projects 
Uh, yeah, and it, it was amazing experience and encouraging experience. Even uh, last uh, more than uh, four or five years, so many colleges from all over the uh, our nations, our countries, you know, even like uh, many colleges, many universities wanted to uh, screening this movie and then so many young and youth are uh, now flowing uh, like, you know, my uh like you know social media also but then this is true you know the now is only medium is that uh, i carry you know, with the movie then like movie you can sometimes you can see see through the youtube and all this but then not only the seeing the movie you know then the interactions you know so how this movie was made and then how uh, like all this is i feel more important then we share with these all the students in india like even other countries also and they are really lucky, you know. This is uh, another um, new interesting that are going on. Uh, and is- so we have now treaded the tough path. I have seen uh, the journey of this filmmaker from Ladakh, uh, uh, from his open school of uh, cold desert. Uh, when he's 13 something, he comes to a Sekmol school and he's exposed to a camera when he is 19 and he starts filmmaking very passionately. This is the toughest part of the journey. But then, uh, once you arrived at the scene, tell our listeners what all places you took your cinema to. Even I don't know all these uh, big names in institutions and all over the world, you know. But then, because of my work, because of the film, so then everybody wants to watch this movie. And then, yeah, of course, it starts with the uh, in uh, France, in uh, many universities, in many colleges. When I visit uh, in a month in France, with my co-director. Sometimes I have like uh, 60 to 70 conference in a, in a month. Oh my so God. it was like very difficult to even uh, to get a time for to sleep, you know. Mm-hmm. But then that is, I thought, wow, it is, uh, in the beginning it was more challenging, but then later, because we are sharing two uh, cultures and two natures, whatever we have in our countries that we have to share in the other countries. And then, what one another word it was uh, this uh, another movie it called uh, Jungwa the Broken Balance. It was selected for COP 21 in uh, uh, in Paris in 2015, I think. I guess yeah. And that moment was something completely special for my life. Even like all over the world, there is like. Uh, uh, so many movies and then there's like only 50 movies all over the world mm-hmm. and then our movie was selected and there was like 195 prime minister and president but the, all the prime minister and president even like our prime minister uh, Narendra Modi ji was there also it was only uh, the Jungwa was selected you know okay. but there I present my movie along 40,000 guests all over the world and then everybody say, yeah, we saw many movies, but this movie is very special. And this is really showing the witness and to net that climate change, global warming, and Ladakh is part of uh, yeah, India and all these, you know, wow, this is very amazing, you know. And Normally people look for an easy path and uh, the work is difficult. It is very difficult. But if you've chosen a tough path, just like you said, then the destination becomes easy. <laughs> the life becomes exactly. easy. Thank you so much, Stanzin. Thank you so very much. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Julie. 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 You just heard a telephonic conversation with internationally acclaimed film director Stanzin Dorje from Ladakh in conversation with Nitish Aroda. This broadcast came to you from the 24 into 7 channel of All India Radio. We welcome your suggestions and comments regarding our programs on our email ID, englishsw at gmail.com. 